Uh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Mad Dog I am, of course, the Mago. Today we're playing a bit more Hearts of Iron 4, uh, playing Brazil, and we're turning ourselves communist because why the fuck not? Uh, Italy has kicked the shit out of Ethiopia. Oh, good one of those fascist bastards. We will take vengeance against them uh, for our, the Ethiopian proletariat down the line, our comrades at arms, who probably didn't even know what the fuck communist was at the point because they were kind of busy getting killed by the Italians. Uh, fucking Italians. Damn you, Itali bros. It Itali bros. <laughs> That makes no sense. Uh, but production-wise, we're not doing a lot of military. We do have a good chunky civilian one, though. I'm liking this. We're about to get another civilian factory online, which is great. We are doing research to get even more factories, um, just because I can. <laughs> I'm also working towards that extra research slot because we only have two, which is kind of slowing me. We'll slow down the research. Does it already get three? Three. I'm pretty sure they do. It's been a while since I played Ireland. I even forgot how many research slots they get. I think they get three to begin with. I wonder why. Hmm. Who knows? Okay, I have lost some factories to trade goods, despite the fact I just built one. I didn't get it, which is annoying. It's annoying. Uh, we also need to get excavation. If we get one more rubber, we can bring in another factory. Uh, another. We can ship more. Which is always good. Uh, we are currently shipping to our Argentinian brothers. Argentine. Those guys. Uh, <laughs> we are working on communism. We are currently at 6%. Uh, the Americans are guaranteeing me. However, I will join Common Turn. I will then eat Bolivia. Because um nom nom Bolivia. Uh, let's get some infrastructure up, shall we? Um, or. No, I want to get that extra research slot. So I'm going to go straight through infrastructure, into research, then back into construction. And then I'll think about power, maybe. Or I'll go, maybe military factories might be good. Oh, shout. I am also tempted to absolutely, like, tank up my entire uh, naval thing. Oh, I've got 11 now on the go. Cool. 7 December? That's not too bad. It's not brilliant. The factories take so long to build. I think maybe in a patch that I would hope they nerf that a little bit because that seems high. Seems unreasonably high. Like double for a factory for <laughs> it just it doesn't seem uh, I think it hinders the small nations a lot. Which is kind of but maybe it's they, they probably have good reasons over at Paradox. Hi are oh don't care. How strong are they in terms of planes? Nah, they got a few. Not as many as me. I have 21 close air support uh, currently in the sky. I've got them all over Brazil. Uh, just the Brazil airspace. Yeah, and we are going to secure the skies of Brazil uh, from everyone. And we're going to eat Bolivia, which would be lovely. And luckily... If, since these will be hopefully just little one-on-one -on -one wars, we won't need to worry about factions, which would be great. Um, that'll be great. It'll just be it'll be just be one war take done. I'll plan, wait, chill out, maybe eat somebody else. Probably Venezuela. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Venezuela needs to die. I want I want its resources pretty much, because I'm guessing for the fascists. Like, down the line, when everything's really kicking off. Um, this, like, Venezuela becomes really critical because of the amount of oil it actually has. Like, oil... Uh, export numbers. So, yeah, the United States, pretty big. But they're, they might sell to the G Germans. Uh, Soviet Union won't sell to the Germans eventually. Venezuela, the next biggest one, are already selling to the Germans. So, if I eat Venezuela, it's like, um, num, num, give me all your factories, Germany. Uh, Mexico also pretty high up there, although not trading. Hmm. So outside the top three, no one's really. Oh, Iran's actually selling. Okay. So a bunch of people are selling, but not Mexican goods, not Mexican oil. I'm buying from the Soviet Union right now, but. Hmm. Because I'm trying to be. I'm just getting in tight with the communists. <laughs> That's my plan. And I want them strong, and I want them able to just kick the shit out of the German Reich. And anyone else who has to stop us, including America, who, yeah, may have to decide what it's going to do down in the south. What are they up to, anyway? The neighbours. What does that do? Where is that? 
Uh, effect. Monroe Doctrine. Oh, so it's... Democracy. Oh, okay. Interesting. So this is all their stuff. Reaffirm. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> so once they pass that, Mexico gets a bump to staying um, democratic. So they're, they're making sure. Oh, hey. None of that. Oh. Uh, everyone else down here, though. What are you? Guatemala is neutral. Honduras is fully democratic. El Salvador is fully fascist. <laughs> Pro? Oh no, I was thinking, is that their fa- No, that's their faction. Derp de derp de derp. Costa Rica, oh, we'll keep a close eye. Ah, we don't mind. Panama, democratic. United States, Colombia fully democratic. Peru, thinking about life, fascist. So fighting, hmm, that's that done. We'll go straight into infrastructure level three, get that up and running. How is my infrastructure actually looking? I haven't clicked on that yet. Uh, could do a lot of work. I would rem I would like to get this all built up. This is my big capital then. Up here, I like, I need infrastructure. So we will, how much does it take? 3,000. Hmm. Well, we'll start down where we're strong. And then we'll build up the next places. And the next places. Three, 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 two, one. Zero. There we go. That's key. Uh, getting that all sorted means I can move quickly through my places and I can get up to Venezuela fairly sharpish. Um, Anti-air is something I'd also like to build. I won't fill it up straight away. Although I am doing quite well in terms of just getting this going. So, once I get past 15, I will be loving life. Oh, I've got to be having the time. Oh, so great. Cool. Anti-air. No anti-air at the moment, but I could get some. I won't just yet. I want to. I really want to set up, like, just cover anti-air, radar. The detection I'm going to have in this place is going to be astronomical. Okay. Civilian economy. Could go early mobilization. I cannot yet do that. So, export focused. I could go free trade. Uh, no, I'm not going to because I need some of my resources as well and I do not want to yet uh, change that. I will go industrial concern because I want to bolster the time that it takes me to get that. Okay, so that should speed up my research into dispersed industry, which means I can also do a faster synthetic oil experiment, get my refinery, and also get excavation, which I really want. Excavation level one will give me another factory, hopefully, when I get the trade. So that's part of the plan. Turn my getting that industrial base going is really key, I think, and I'm pretty sure most people would agree with me. Unless you're really fucking aggressive, it's like fuck, fuck the economy, military. In which case, you're probably playing fascist. <laughs> I don't. You're playing fascist if that's your mindset. It's only 1936. I have years to go. What's Germany up to anyway? Industrial effort. So even Germany's thinking, "Yep, got to get that economy going." Hitler, Hitler is stealing my ideas. That's what I'm saying right now. Uh, let's get these guys all merged up together. Uh, there we go. So we have two subs, eight destroyers, two light cruisers, and two battleships. That's a pretty decent fleet. It's not. It's not a massive fleet, but it's not like Bolivia is going to be able to fight me on the water. <laughs> uh, in terms of airspace. Ah, Bolivia's in two. Fuck. But we're, we're coming in through the Amazonas, so we'll set up air superiority here. And then we will just... Do I even have a airport up here? Ooh, well, that might be interesting. Oof. I might need to get an airbase up here. Fairly quickly, too. Uh, s two weeks. We'll just get... Well, two, three weeks. And then we we get another factory in the works. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Since first energy, that should just speed up that little bit extra. We're now going to go into excavation level one just to get that extra factory for us. Mechanical computing we're done in 88 days, which will speed up everything as well. Always fun. 87 days. Cool. Yeah, we're going to fuck up Olivia, though. I want their tungsten. Um, that's pretty much the height of it. They have something I want. I get all the tungsten. In terms of the tungsten trade, uh, let's go have a little look. Uh, export. 
Is anyone actually selling tungsten right now? No. Oh, actually, yes. Greece is supplying Romania. Eight of eight, but yet five. Okay. I'm guessing those are inland trades. I'm not seeing a lot of tungsten, actually. So, with that in mind... Anti-tank musicians. Hmm. So, no one's at the tank stage yet, that means. If no one's buying tungsten... Means they ever have tungsten and not needing it. Or <laughs> something's wrong. Hmm. <laughs> tactical, ladies and gentlemen. I'm being tactical mad god today. Trying to be smart. Trying to be smart and trying to do well for the, the German people. I should be training troops. I, re I recognize this now. How many how many guns have I got? 423. Eh, I could probably get set up now. So, train. We want to add one. Add. Location. France pursues nuke strike technology. Leisure purges in the Soviet Union. Good for you guys. Um, add unit. Equipment manpower. 8,000 men. Let's add a bunch more. I got seven. I need... That means... Do, 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 do. That can only make 12. Okay, boo. Um, let's get into this. Extra research slot. Let's go. Now I need 10,000 guns. I, I've got a bit of deja vu all of a sudden. <laughs> For my basic infantry equipment, I should probably be researching guns. Um, yeah, I need weapons one. Uh, that's something I don't have, weirdly. I have everything else, but not gun. And I just realised I just built a fucking huge army. Oh, God. It's okay, it's okay. It'll, it'll be all fine. It'll be fine, trust me. We're up to 12 factories now going. That's good, 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 good. 90% will be done in April. A couple of months. A couple of months. Churning out factories now. Churning them out. We get through our infrastructure. We'll have supply. We'll be able to move quickly. Not worry. Perch up on Bolivia's border. Eat them up. What do they have in there? In terms of... One infrastructure. Nothing much else. One... Yeah. They don't... They're not rocking a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't have anything. Four military factories. They've, they've bumped up their military factories. Liberty ethos. They're pushing liberty. Which means I don't need to worry about them joining anybody. I think I can be able, I'll can be i be able to get away with nomming on them. Paraguay and Uruguay I would like to eat. But it's not priority. I'll wait till the war's in full swing. And I can just sort of do things. I think once I'm in the common turn. America will probably not want to get involved in anything that I'm doing. What are they up to right now? Escort effort. Okay, that does... Jesus, so hard to find stuff in this. Uh... National Spirit Destroyers. Production. Oof, okay, so they're, they're trying to push ships. Get their navy up and running. Mm, scary. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, 28 days, mechanical computing, cool, industry have time for So that will speed that up a bit, and that means we'll get more stuff quicker. Yeah, come on. Anything else that we'll... Nah, we don't have enough of anything else to really look at exporting. Um, one more is all I need. One more. How is division number one doing? They're all... Yeah, they're all fairly well. But they're not really gaining anything. So, time to stop. Because we're burning attrition, and that's not good. Mm -hmm. Do need more factories. I think I'm using all of my steel, though, at the moment. No, I have more steel. Cool, I still have surplus. So, when I get some military factories, I can put them straight into gun production. Because that's what I need, is all the gun. 11 a day isn't fantastic, but we're not losing any. So, yeah, it's 11 a day, no losses. We'll, we'll eat away until we get more in there. Then we should be fine. Should be fine. Do need fighter production, because I do want more planes, but close air support is the priority. How is my air force looking? Uh, 40, 46. Almost halfway there. Boat-wise, I think got our boat up and running, our sub. Okay, so let's get them all merged together. 
Naval dominance will be kind of key because I think most people who will be coming after me will be uh, it'll be via the navy. If it's the Allies, I will fuck them up here. If it's fascist, I will probably have to take out Venezuela, and then I'll be fine. <laughs> if I can if I can delay people being able just to sail in, oh, things would be great. Right, that's that done. Um, too far back for that. Could go into that. Or I could get the guns that I actually need. Let's get the guns that I actually need. <laughs> just as a just a quick diversion away from the industry. Let's get that. Uh, on pause. Get to work. Cool. Right. Um, thinking, 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 thinking. Construction is 12, 20... 20th of April, two, just under two months. Ah, oh, yes, that's what I like to see. Now we're going to construction effort level three. Then we'll go into more research, which will be um, we'll go for this one. Let's get construction level two. Yeah. Build faster, build quicker, get all my lovely infrastructure, and then I can get out of AA guns and radar towers. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Ah, oh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> 128 days until we get guns, 66 until we get more resources and more factories. Closing in on that 15. When we're working on two things at once, I feel really good about myself. Because I've never really had it past that point. I would love to get to the point where I have 30 odd factories and I'm actually doing three buildings at once. It'll just feel really awesome. <laughs> and th these will just be so quick getting done. Just churning it out. Building everything. Buildy, buildy, build. Guns are getting eaten up. I do have a stockpile of convoys, but that's it. <laughs> Which isn't great. That's point one a day. It's not great. Not great. I do need fighters. I need a lot of things. We are starting to train people, which is great. Uh, also great. I keep saying great. I apologize. I need to widen my vocabulary. One day, one day, and on that day, it'll be oh, it'll be odd and strange. You won't know what's going on. So I'm thinking after construction level three, I might head into political effort. Just get some political power to set up uh, all of these things. What have I got in terms of this air combat training? Ooh. Naval Air Defense, interesting. Air Superiority, I like that. Infantry Expert, these two are for sure. That'll be kind of cool. It'll be a toss-up between these two. Depends how I'm going. Um, these three I never really give a shit about. Um, I might go back when back Oh, I've just ticked over. Funny that. Um, or I could go Theorist. Or I could go economy. Can't do anything yet because nobody's actually done it. Even the Spanish Civil War hasn't kicked off. That's odd. So, what I will do is... Let's get more unity. Right. Yes, uni is what I want. Uh, I don't want to do ideological drift defense yet because I am trying to drift my own ideology. Uh, 85%. Awesome. Uh, actually, uni. The Spanish Civil War has finally kicked off. There we go, 1937. Uh, maybe I was just a bit early ahead of myself. I didn't realize what was going on. Be interesting to see how that goes. No, here's the thing I could do. I could send... Oh, can I actually send troops? No, I can't. Because I'm neutral. If I was communist, then sure, I could go back them up and send a bunch of Brazilian troops to help the the Spaniards. Although, we're from Portuguese. Like, this is Portug Portugal's settlement. So, hello, Portugal. I might actually go kill Portugal at some point. But, as a sort of reverse colonialism thing going on. But, yeah. Everyone else is Spanish. We're, we're Portuguese. I think that's the way it goes. Yeah, I think so. Is it? Yeah, I think it's that. <laughs> I'm forgetting my history now, which is bad. Uh, but I've been playing games, so I'm not really thinking about history. Even though I'm playing a historical game, I'm not really thinking about history. Excavation level, 15 days, other factory. Another factory, 
13. Oh, 13, 15 means this gets done quicker, 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 quicker. Oh no! And with that, it is time in this part. But thank you very much for watching this gentlemen. I've of course been the Mad God, who Mad God, my connection is playing Hearts of Iron 4. I shall see you all next time.